In today's video, we fill the propane tank. Show you how I find it, how it gets filled, how much it costs, and do I like propane or not? Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in today, really appreciate that. My name is Scott, I'm your host, Welcome to Go Small, Live Large, a YouTube channel dedicated to the Class B, that would be a van, RV lifestyle. If you're into vans, RV, travel, cool places, cool people, consider subscribing to the channel, really appreciate that. Get a lot of questions on propane, and there's kind of controversy, I would say, of getting rid of propane and having um, an all electric or chassis fuel as the um, source for heat and hot water. I am glad my pro uh, propane uh, uh, is on board my Travado because it powers my Trimacombi. And today we're gonna show you why, or how rather, uh, we get the propane filled. Looking at the tank gauge here, my propane is gonna read one half. Now I have six gallons of onboard propane, and it's my understanding that only about 80% of that is actually useful. So I probably am gonna need, oh, just went down a quarter, you saw that, right? <laughs> that was magic. Uh, I'm probably gonna need about two and a half gallons of propane, that's my guess, to get that back to a full state. Probably gonna cost about uh, eight bucks is my guess. My fill is right here. I spray painted mine black so that it looks a little more cool with a rig, right? But this should be a very familiar sight to most folks that have filled a propane tank. So what I do is I, I look for a propane, um, source in my area. Um, I use either a Google search for U-Haul or an Apple Maps, Apple Maps search for U-Haul or there's the Allstays app. I'll put that here. Um, it's a great way to find a whole lot of RV resources with Allstays. A-L-L-S-T-A-Y-S. -L -L -S. Recommend getting that app for you. So let's uh, head to the U-Haul and get some propane. I've had pretty good luck with U-Haul uh, and um, the propane is on the driver's side so you want to pull in and get pretty close to the propane service uh, station. In this case it's right here. And there's usually a bell you have to push to notify them. I'm going to go inside as well. So what's a little unusual about this one is they have an automatic pressure regulator on the system so he doesn't actually need to man the thing and you can hear the pump change uh, sound because it's releasing pressure on the backside, not actually at the uh, at the speaker here. So that's kind of cool. Normally we don't see that. We see him fuss with this to get the uh, pressure out as it All right, so I'm gonna give you the lowdown on the charge here. So we got two and a half gallons as I expected. There, you can see that now. Two and a half gallons as expected. So it's uh, six bucks, a little bit of tax. So 682, uh, two and a half dollars a gallon, which is pretty inexpensive. That's why I like propane, one reason. And you always wanna make sure that they uh, close your valve. And if they've turned the gas off, that you turn it back on. Um, I've had occasions where they've not closed this and I've driven away noticing this later road debris gets in there not a good idea and then if I do want the gas on I definitely want that left on so I can control it from the inside and as you're probably aware this is the inside control uh, for the uh, propane on or off but if it's off on the master switch outside this is ineffective so on outside on inside if you plan to use your propane let's check the tank level it says three quarters and now full 
Yahoo! I need to go empty tanks. <laughs> Look at that. That is a perfect four of a kind. Another reason I like propane is I like cooking on gas. It's fast, efficient, hot, and I can control the flame like a real chef. Pretty cool. Hey, if you've learned anything at all that was maybe brand new, thumb up. I'm sure appreciate that. Helps me know you liked it. Helps YouTube share it out to other folks. Comment below. And this is the controversial part of the program. Propane. Are you a proponent or an opponent of propane? I'm a proponent. I don't know anything else. A lot of rigs these days are coming with induction cooktops and you use um, chassis fuel source, diesel or gasoline to run hot water and furnace equipment. I like propane, I, but I don't know any different. So which side of the fence are you on propane? Thumb up, <laughs> propane or thumb down on propane? Would love to know. And if you are into uh, RVing, class B, vans, any of this stuff, we'd be honored to have you part of the success of this channel. Please subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. So until we see you soon, I wish you to journey on and cook the way you like. See you later.